What's up ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another solo leveling arise video. It's your boy Payne. Happy Thursday everybody We got ourselves a little tip for you So some of you guys might not be ever doing this hell You know what honestly I didn't do it enough and lately I've been doing a lot more and it has upped my game quite a bit in regards to scores uh, The reason why I haven't been doing it quite honestly is just I never cared enough to but now that I'm like trying to be a little bit more competitive in my free-to-play account on POD and trying to get number one every week and trying to get number you know top three at the very least on my on my scores plus trying to improve my guild scores I think this tip might help a lot of you guys out. Now, you know, like, I think it was maybe the last major update or the update before that, we had a new um, feature, I guess, if you want to call it, implemented into the game. And a lot of people still don't use it or don't know how to use it because either they haven't understood it or the settings aren't set up right. So I'm going to show you guys this tip and you guys hopefully will use it and maybe it'll help you guys increase your scores. I'm going to give you guys examples of how to use it and how it will work and why it's a good idea to start doing this more often than not. Now, what I'm talking about clearly here, if you go to the uh, settings, go to controls and you go all the way down here, there's a section that they've added here uh, where you can prevent ultimate skills skills from auto use during battle now this you want to actually go ahead and press on and then right here you can also put this one on i mean this one you can keep off actually the qte part doesn't really matter uh and then prevent support hunter ultimate skill use as well too you can put this one on if you want now this one's up to you now what this does essentially is when you put it on auto it prevents your ultimates from casting prematurely or casting at the wrong time and allowing you to manually control your hunters uh when you want to cast their ultimates now this is extremely important during guild battles scores as well as pod right so i'm going to show you guys a couple examples of how to use this and where you want to use it and how it's done but you want to make sure you do go to controls and you put these ones to on and that will allow you guys to use these more often okay so i'm going to go ahead and do that for you and the reason why this is a big big deal is because when you start using weapons such as moon shadow daggers uh the grimoire etc right that will allow you guys to then time your ultimates for when it makes sense for your cast to occur because what ends up happening when you don't do this is your your AI essentially will cast the ultimates whenever it's available, like whenever it's available. And that will actually push you guys to get less score because they're not taking advantage of a lot of these debuffs. So let's just show you a quick example here, right? If I go to POD, for example, it's wind day today. So let's just say I want to use the, the usual setup here. If I want to go west wind with demon, demon, or you know what, in this case, we'll just continue using uh, these two weapons here. Okay, we'll do moon shadow daggers and plum star. Actually, no, I'll take plum sword. I'll put west wind in. Let's just use these two here, okay? So I'll show you an example of what I'm talking about. So I'm gonna go ahead and use, let's just use my light team for now. I'll just show you guys my light team setup and, and why this is so important, especially for a unit like Cha, whose ultimate hits really, really hard. Right now, normally what I would do here is I, would, I wouldn't have Blessing on, on Min. I would actually end up having um, Destroyer and Sylph just to, to pump out more ultimates and damage. In this case, we'll keep this on, not a big deal. And then we'll show you guys what I'm referring to. Actually, you know what? Let me let me do one more thing. Let me, let me just actually rejig this team a little bit. We're gonna go this, this, and we're gonna go Anna Ruiz, actually. I'm gonna put Anna in here because I think Anna does have the destroyer set on. She does, and the sub. Okay, perfect. So we're gonna go with that team. We're gonna form this team here. And again, I'm gonna show you guys how to use these ultimates and when you wanna use them most most likely okay so in pod one of the major things of course is the fact that when the dragon does drop his head he's in a break state which means all your damage does way way more so ideally you want to start using most of your skills at that point okay so right now if we look at my blessings make sure these are correct i don't need this anymore i'm gonna go ahead and put on uh we can put out we are one and then ideally the rest of them are fine you don't really have to play around with that anymore this will keep us the wind one as usual and then here I mean, you can change this to whatever you want, obviously, right? I usually put Reap on, just, again, make it easier for shadow stepping. But let me show you guys how it's done. Now, again, normally if you put auto on, what ends up happening is your your, your ultimates are cast automatically, right? So let me move my, my screen to this side. Sorry, let me take the chat box out, which doesn't actually exist today. And I'm going to show you guys how this is done, all right? So let's, let's do this together. So you guys are going to see that on the left side, the ultimates are being built, but there's some arrows that connect on the D-pad, in this case the keyboard, or in, in, in your case, if you're playing on mobile, on the mobile phone, the touchscreen, that these guys will build their ultimates. You guys can see the purple right there, right? That purple is their, their ultimate bar, the blue is their mana bar, etc. right? So watch this. So see how Chot's building hers up slowly? We're going to let that build, and then we're going to go ahead and do our alt once we have moon shadow daggers and uh, you know, shadow step, etc. in place. So normally... Okay, let me restart this. Normally I would have Moonshadow Daggers. And honestly, in, in the first break, 
Cha, Cha usually doesn't get enough to do her ultimate anyways, even with Destroyer set, unless she has it on herself, then you can do, do it more often. So let's try this again. Normally I have the dragon does more attacks than that. That was a really quick break. That's because I have Anna on the team. Normally with two breakers on it's way faster. But here, let's, let's do this again. So we're gonna go ahead and let him do his cast. Okay, here we're gonna just let them do their thing. Hopefully they don't break him fast, so I can actually cast another spell. Uh, cast my my reap here. Here we go. Perfect. Okay, here we go. Okay, so this is where you ideally want to start doing your ultimate. See, so see, I did Anna's ultimate there. Normally, Anna would have done her ultimate way more prematurely than that, but because I was able to control it, I want to do all their ultimates when the head is up, okay? Or her head is down, I mean, sorry. And so, see how Cha has her ultimate up? You see how, like, the, the screen is flashing on her side? Yeah, don't cast her ultimate right now. Wait till you break him, and then cast her ultimate. That's the most important thing to remember in this, because if you don't do it that way, you're going to end up wasting your shadow step. So, watch this. I'm going to do this, and then cast her ultimate now, and she's going to start using it right away. And you can see there, and even with, with what I just did, I did the wrong timing, quite honestly. Because normally what would happen is you want to cast her ultimate before you even start doing Moon Shadow Daggers because she does the whole wind-up, right? So because her wind-up takes a little bit of time, you want to cast it before the Moon Shadow Daggers actually do the buff because you want that Lunar buff to be there for her to do her ultimate hit while that 15% extra damage is around, right? So that's a very, very important thing to remember when you're doing this. So manually controlling your ultimates is an easy way for you guys to up your score. It does take a little bit of practice. I'm not going to lie to you guys. It will take you some time to get used to it but it's absolutely worth every effort to get it done and practice because that practice is going to increase all of your scores pretty substantially overall for everything. Guilt, like POD, guilt scores, you name it, right? You'll have all of that stuff uh, in place for you guys to cast your ultimates at the right time. See, like, look, I did Anna's right there, right? So here we're going to... I'm, I'm, I'm kind of messing up a little bit in the order, but you guys understand what I'm saying here, right? So I've, I'm also learning to practice on POD. I do it mostly on guild bosses because it's much easier. Now, the way it works on guild bosses is a little different than the way it works on POD, okay? And I'll, I'll show you guys real quick how it works on guild bosses in a, in a second. Once we did, we'll do, we'll do one more example of this when Cha's up, and I'll show you guys exactly what I'm referring to with Cha when it comes down to manual control, okay? All right, let's do this. Let's hope he does one more cast, perfect. We can break this now. All right, so here's what I'm talking about. Start casting it now. See, so yeah, I'm casting her ultimate now, and Moonshadow Daggers is up, and by the time she casts her ult, it's already in place. Okay, she's already done the damage. Now you do way, way, way more damage with that case. I don't know if you guys saw that, but so my, my Lunar was up on the boss. I casted Cha, as the head was coming down, I casted Cha's ult. By then, she's already warming up, and, and she's got her, her sword going longer. And then she's about to do the swing. By the time she's ready to do the swing, my my debuffs are on there, and the full damage is actually taking place, right? So you guys can see how much more damage that can do if you are casting it at the right time versus casting it whenever you know whenever it's up. Versus like the hands don't really need that extra little little bit of love. All right, so that's POD. I'm gonna go ahead and exit this. And now I'm gonna show you guys how it works on guild scores or guild bosses. Guild bosses are a little bit different because. You only control Team 1, so keep that in mind. You're only going to be able to do the ultimates on Team 1. Everyone else on Team 2 and 3 will cast their ultimates automatically. That's just going to happen no matter what. So it's very important to uh, prioritize who your Team 1 is and who you plan to use for Team 1. So if I go into Team 1, let's just go to Guilds real quick. Uh, where's my Guilds? Guilds, Guilds. I hate this new place that they placed it because I sometimes forget to go get my stuff for it. Where is it? Guilds. Missions. Guilds? Yo, where's my guild? Oh my god, it's right here. I'm so blind. Okay, sorry. Yeah, there's my check-in. Yeah, I honestly, I liked it before when it was like a banner on its own. It was so much easier for me to see things. Okay, so let's go into the boss and I'll show you guys what I'm referring to, okay? Now, I'm not going to switch my rotation up. I normally do. Um, switch it up to... Let's get my reward here, claim. So normally I will switch my team up, make song, uh, you know, a non DPS, etc. But here, I'll show you. So this is my team. This is my team. Okay. So this team here is going to be the one that I control when it comes down to when they cast their ultimates and when they don't. Same scenario again, right? You want to make sure that you have them up and ready to go when your debuffs have been applied. Specifically, Moon Shadow Daggers and Grimoire in this case. Grimoire lasts a little bit longer, so you're not as worried about it. I'm gonna leave, I'm gonna leave everything else in for now. But here, Let's do this. This. And you guys can see the buttons that are associated. So left for Malin, uh, up for for Cha, 
and uh, left for gun heat, right? So again, very important to remember, you wanna cast these at the right time. So there's erosion. Now watch, Moonshadow Daggers already up, cast ultimates, right? And there you guys go. Chad did her ultimate exactly at the right time that I needed her rather than wasting it at any time, right? So again, it just takes a little bit of time and effort to get used to it, but it's overall not very difficult if you guys can plan it out at the right time, okay? So again, uh, very, very important to remember that that's what you want to do and that's how you want to control it. So try practice this, guys. I think it'll help a lot of you increase your score. It does take practice, by the way. It's not like you're going to learn this like instantly. This is going to take some time for sure. And again, I'm not doing a real run here, but I just want to show you guys how this works. Right? Yeah, let, me, let me make sure I can do another. I'll show you guys another Moonshadow Dagger with Cha doing it. Okay, here we go. Watch. Cha, Cha's doing hers now. Right? You guys can see she's about to cast it. Moonshadow Daggers are up. And bam, there it is. So ma massive damage with that. So make sure, guys, you go change your settings and you do set up manual and start practicing. That practice, shout out to Ryan, by the way, for uh, per persuading me to do this more often because I, I do think it makes a massive difference in scores. And I've noticed my scores went up. Like for my, my guild boss score, for example, I was at 1.6. I went up to almost like 1.9. For a POD, I've gone up to like 1, 1 point, or 2.2 billion, uh, 2.4 billion. So it's, it's definitely a valid way of increasing all your scores so make sure guys you will give it a chance remember you do have to practice practice is going to make you better uh it's it, it is definitely something that's going to be uh, foreign to a lot of you uh, and it was foreign to me for quite some time many of you are already using this and that's fantastic but for me personally i didn't have time to but now that i'm manually using it i don't know if i can ever go back to automatic but just because i know how much of an impact it makes overall all right guys this is pain thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys in the next video take care